This is C4, another edition of the Continental Classic Control Center, and this is Tony Schiavone. The third week of the Continental Classic continues tonight on TNT with AEW Collision at 8, 7 Central. Let's take a look at the tournament thus far. The rules, each match set at a 20-minute time limit, three points awarded for a win, one point for a draw, everyone else banned from ringside. Before we get into tonight's matches, here's a look at the Gold Division and what happened Wednesday on AEW Dynamite Live on TBS. John Moxley whipped Roosh in the first of the tournament matches to give Moxley nine points now. Swerve Strickland keeps pace by topping Mark Briscoe. And in the final tournament bout of the night, Jay White beats Jay Lethal. So the Gold League looks like this after three weeks. Moxley and Swerve each with nine points, Jay White six, Mark Briscoe and Jay Lethal each without a point, and basically eliminated from winning the Gold League, but each has two matches still to go. Our cameras caught up with the victorious Swerve Strickland after his third win without a loss in the Gold League. I don't feel pain when it comes to me chasing my goals, when it comes to me shutting people up and proving everybody wrong. Nine points, I'm the leader in this classic, but let's not stop there. This is bigger than this whole tournament. I'm the leader in this damn company. Whether it's in that ring, whether it's at pay-per-views, whether it's me getting interviewed on TMZ or whether I'm on the field in Jacksonville, talking to the NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell, it don't matter. I run the industry. So Willie, save all this footage. Please stock all this up. Cause we're gonna run this all back. I'm the leader. And I'm the top of AEW as the world champion. Making history. But first, it starts with the Continental Classic. John Moxley next, Dallas, Texas. I can't wait. You called yourself the ace. I'm hungry. I'm feasting. I need that. You say you drink blood. You say you crush bones. You say you do all this violent stuff. I do too. I'll see you in Texas. Whose house? Swerve's house. Well, this talented wrestler from Tacoma is not alone at the top. Also with nine points, John Moxley. Roosh still very much in the hunt. And as mentioned earlier, Jay White still very much alive in the Continental Classic, as his win over Jay Lethal gives him six points. Here's what White had to say after the win on Wednesday. Today is a good day. Good day for Jay. You know why today's a good day for Jay and I'm in a good mood. Why don't I answer your question? Because I won. Three more points to the Jay. To the Jay that matters. To Jay Y, not Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal, you really are one of the best in the world. You are right up there. But even higher than you is yours truly. Even higher than you is the Switchblade. And I'm back to my winning ways after last week. Swerve, swerve. I got a, I got a, I got a pretty good memory. I don't think I forget things too easily. But Jay, Jay, today was all about you and me. And at the end of it, Jay, it's really only all about me. Back to my winning ways. Back to my winning ways, the way that I know how to win. Not the way that these people want me to win. No, 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 no. I'm gonna win my way. Going back to what brought me to the, the dance with the horse to drink the water out of the well. But you can't force it because you can only teach it to fish for a lifetime to get the early worm. Three points. A great race for the top of the standings in the Gold League with more matches on that side of the tournament coming up Wednesday night live from Arlington, Texas on AEW Dynamite on TBS from the College Park Center. Now look at the Blue League and what is on tap tonight on Collision on TNT. Last night on Rampage in the Blue League, Brian Danielson wins his second match with a victory over Daniel Garcia. And that brings us to tonight with the Blue League shaping up like this on Collision. Danielson, Brody King each on top with six points, Andrade El Idolo and Claudio Castagnoli each with three. Eddie Kingston and Daniel Garcia each looking for their first win. Here are the Continental Classic matches set for tonight on AEW Collision on TNT beginning at 8, 7, 7. Central. 
Eddie Kingston attempts to crack the scoreboard as he faces his longtime rival and nemesis, Claudio Castagnoli. For Kingston, the reigning Ring of Honor world champ and New Japan Pro Wrestling strong openweight champion, he's fighting for everything as he's put his two championships on the line as well, making this tournament winner first ever Triple Crown champion in AEW. The second match tonight will put the American Dragon Brian Danielson back in the ring for the second night in a row, this time against Andrade El Idolo. Two nights in a row for Danielson, fresh off of that orbital bone injury and surgery. Let's see how Danielson does against one of the biggest stars ever out of Mexico. These tournament matches and much more tonight, including Kenny Omega against Ethan Page on AEW Collision on TNT. Two hours of AEW action beginning at 8, 7 central tonight. As mentioned earlier, matches in the Gold League of the Continental Classic continue Wednesday live on AEW Dynamite on TBS at 8, 7 central from the College Park Center in Arlington, Texas in the Dallas Metroplex. Wednesday's tournament matches, Jay White meets Mark Briscoe. Rouge battles Jay Lethal and in a battle for the top spot, John Moxley faces off with Swerve Strickland. In addition, live on Wednesday night in Arlington, the Von Erichs return to Texas as Marshall and Ross Von Erich with their father, legendary Kevin Von Erich, will be on the card. Live at the College Park Center in Arlington, Texas on TBS is coming Wednesday, December 13th on AEW Dynamite. Tickets for our fans in and around the Dallas Metroplex available at AEWTIX.com. Fans, we have some big events coming up in 2024, including eight events in Canada. In 2024, AEW will be coming to Toronto, London, Ontario, Quebec City, Winnipeg, Edmonton, and Vancouver. Next week, here on the Control Center, we'll have more information on how our great fans in Canada can join us in 2024. Tickets for All in London at Wembley Stadium happening Sunday, August 25th are now available to the general public. Don't miss your chance to be a part of wrestling history. For tickets and information, go to ticketmaster.co.uk or livenation.co.uk. We are nine months away from Wembley. Tickets are going fast, over $4 million in ticket sales thus far, so don't be left out. The final AEW pay-per-view of 2023 will take place live Saturday, December 30th from the historic Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum on Long Island in Uniondale, New York. The event AEW World's End. We now know two things. At World's End, MJF defends the AEW World title against Samoa Joe. And the final championship match of the Continental Classic will be held. Tickets for World's End are available at AEWTIX.com. And don't forget, tickets make great holiday gifts. Sting's final match, Revolution 2024, is drawing closer. It'll be Sunday, March 3rd, and only on pay-per-view from the Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina. Sting with the Nature Boy Ric Flair by his side will step into a wrestling ring for the final time in his incredible career. This is a can't-miss event. Tickets will become first available next Friday, December 15th at AEWTIX.com. Once again, what a treat this will be for the wrestling fan in your life or in your family. Tickets make great holiday gifts. Tonight, though, the Continental Classic continues with matches in the Blue League, plus Kenny Omega against Ethan Page and much, much more. It all happens tonight on AEW Collision on TNT at 8, 7 central. I'm Tony Schiavone from C4, the Continental Classic Control Center. See you tonight on Collision, and don't forget, we are AEW.